fancy a crisp sandwich? Um, no, I'm good, thanks. Can I have work, please? Yeah, of course. It's just uh, some live stuff. I saw Al. What the hell do you think you're playing at? Making sure I got the message. What, by punching him? I think it went pretty easy on him, considering. You had no right. No, Mum, you had no right. Treating Paddy like he's nothing. And why do you care about what happens to him anyway? Or is this your way of saying that you've chosen Al over Paddy and you want me to pack a bag and go? No. No, I don't. But I do care about you getting arrested again and done for assault. I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't dare. Brewery delivery. It's outside. We're not done. Here we are. Bless your cottons. <laughs> you know, you don't have to stay, lovey. Especially if you're going to mither me as much as our cane has been. <laughs> I suppose you're not milk anymore. Thing. Well, luckily for you, more more easy going. So, you can do whatever you want on my watch. Play some cards, or you can have a nap. In fact, I could probably do that myself. I'll keep you company. That's very noble of you, love. <laughs> Although, I don't really enjoy a cat nap much lately. I tend to wake up a bit all over the shop, you know. Do you mean like? Yesterday when you got confused with my mum. Yeah. And it's not a very nice feeling. Knowing that it's not just your body that's packing up, but your mind that's playing silly beggars in the hall. Does it happen much? Enough. Enough for me not to relish it happening too much more. You can't feel any more dog rough. Life manages to pile a bit more on, doesn't it? You know, that's how Jackson felt towards the end. His body working against him, I mean. Until he got to a point where he, he couldn't stand it anymore. What you did for that young man must have taken incredible courage. <clears throat> and why does it feel like the worst thing I'm ever have to do? I can understand that, sweetheart. I thought I could do it. Until I was in the room with him and it was happening. So I was him die like that. Knowing I'd helped him. That was a million times harder. It's okay, just remember all the good stuff that happened before, you know? Instead of reliving that day every time. Oh, nothing. I know it's good stuff, you know? We had a holiday in Whitby just before. Sorted us out to do a skydive while we were there. Oh, you never did. No. Jackson did. Said he felt like he was flying. I'd never seen him that giddy. And then he ripped me for ages for bottling it. <laughs> but that's the sort of stuff you've got to cling on to. Mm. Memories that either no one can take from you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was supposed to make you feel better, not worse. No, you are. You have to make me feel better because you've been here for your mum. Because she struggled with this more than I could have imagined. You know, it's years since I've been to Whitby. Standing on that beach with a sandy sandwich. Feet that I couldn't feel because I've just been paddling in the great freezing North Sea. <laughs> really, yeah. <laughs> You've given me an idea. <laughs> I just wanted to shuffle through and, and have a little drink with you all. <clears throat> just a double or three. I don't want to get carried away. <laughs> a cup of coffees when you're ready. 
Up. Yeah, on it like a car bonnet. Right, then you two. Listen up, because I have had a proper brainwave. Should we brace ourselves? She wants to all to go to the seaside together. When you say all, yeah. the whole clan? It'll be a bit much. What time in a car? Uh, I'd manage. And it'd be worth it. Making new memories. Hey, we could call it a last hurrah. Can we just call it a day out? <sighs> Whatever you prefer. Just as long as I have some precious time with my wonderful family.